we're back. We're <laughs> in the kitchen again, and this time we're making coconut yogurt. Oh yeah. We're gonna make two different flavors. What we're gonna have is a sweet coconut yogurt that's gonna have some agave and um, some vanilla and cinnamon, and then another one that's kind of like spicy with turmeric and ginger and it's gonna have a little bit of a kick to it. All right, so what ingredients do we have for the savory coconut yogurt? For the savory coconut yogurt, we're gonna obviously be using coconut, which I actually just harvested and cracked myself today. I feel pretty awesome about that. It is awesome. We got some green onion, garlic chive, some Thai chili peppers, uh, garlic. We're not gonna use all of these things. This is, we haven't quantified yet. Turmeric, ginger, some kefir lime leaves from the land, and maybe a little chili powder if we feel we need it. Also, maybe some black pepper. Um, if we could come across it, yeah. If we could come across it. Oh, and having a cheesecloth is also super useful. Yes. Yeah. Or a nut milk bag or mm -hmm. something, because we're gonna we're gonna blend it all together, and then we're gonna strain it through this bag because we want to have a nice smooth yogurt. So. What we have in the blender right now is some coconuts, some garlic, and I forgot to mention earlier, we're gonna need some coconut water for this recipe as well. Yeah, that's true. You can also substitute the coconut water with regular filtered water. Okay, next we're gonna add our probiotic. We're gonna open the capsule and just kind of stir it in here because we want to preserve the bacteria strands in here so they don't get damaged because if you blend it too early on with the probiotic in it, it could become useless. It, it I'm just speechless. It's so <laughs> amazing. Wow. You've done good. You've done good. Oh, I feel good. So I'm just going off what my friend said who made coconut yogurt a couple weeks ago. He said he put, he used just a regular ball jar lid, put um, put it upside down, this little, uh, little disc part, and then sealed it, but not fully, just finger tight so that you, you're not like squeezing the jar and still turning, just finger tight. Oh yeah, and leave one third of the jar with air so that when it ferments, it has room to expand. All right, so our next one is gonna be a sweet golden turmeric milk kind of um, coconut yogurt, which I'm really excited for. We have some raw agave, cinnamon, of course the turmeric that Katie is peeling over here. Staying a little peeling. Has some ginger and some nutmeg. We also have some vanilla. Both of these are very good uh, varieties of vanilla. We have the liquid version here, and then we have the raw vanilla powder here. Some black pepper we're going to add just a smidgen some more turmeric powder and look some more turmeric All right, that's it. We made our chocolate, turmeric, golden milk. Oh yeah, the Thai curry one. And based off of how they taste, they're really, really good and I'm super excited. What we're gonna do is we're gonna leave them out of the fridge for about one day and it should ferment and it should be ready after that and I'm gonna show you what it looks like once it's complete. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out Katie's channel too, Katie Crane. That's where you can find her. I'll link her in the bottom below. And for the heck of it, Maria, because she took some pictures. All right, till next video, ciao. All right, this is how they turned out. They fermented, they're all frothy. It's sort of been dug into. Some people have vegan from the jar, but it's super good. I liked how all of these turned out. And if you haven't had coconut yogurt before, it's really good. It's very good for you. It has a probiotic in it and it's nice and creamy and it's perfect to top with papayas, banana and ice cream just to eat by itself. So it's a good way to get some probiotics in.